Hey everyone, Grammy G here and just going to give you a tour of our cabin today. So we are in cabin 6331 on the Carnival Spirit on a Panama cruise. Now before I do that, we are in a stern balcony. So there's our little short hallway going one way and our little short hallway going the other way. So if we look down here, we can see one end of the hallway going part way down because there's an elevator bank at the one end and they're doing cleaning right now in the rooms in the cabins so that's why you see equipment out in the corridors and we see the other side here and we're going to do a quick peek into a suite there you go we got a quick peek into somebody's suite so that wasn't our cabin okay i'm going to give you a few in our cabin though okay so the first thing we're going to do we have our number 6331 we have our mailbox our name on the door and we're going to put our card, that's our key card, it does everything on the ship that we need to make purchases for, and we're coming into our cabin, we're going to have, turn our light on right here, we have all our safety goodies going on here, and right here is our bathroom, so I'm going to give you a quick peek in here, oh, of course, hubby left the, uh, oh, I guess they cleaned in here, so that's why the toilet seat is up, hubby is so good about putting that down. The cleaners were in here. Oh, they're awesome. Wow, they even made the curtain go like this. Isn't that great? So you have shampoo and gel. We have a soap uh, dish up there for our own soap. Nice tall shower head. Hubby's almost six foot two, so he fits under there pretty good. That is a clothesline, and you attach it over there, right there. Nice big shower base. You can see it is a pretty big shower. I'm going to get in the shower here so you can see the rest of the bathroom. So we've got shelving over there, three shelves, and then a little shelf down at the bottom. That's where I put my stuff. And hey everybody, nice to see you. And hubby has his stuff over here. So nice big mirrors in your cabins, by the way. You're not going to have to be fighting for a mirror because I'm gonna show you the big vanity mirror outside here. Nice big vanity area in the sink area. There's a little tiny bit of storage under there, your garbage can there. Nice big fluffy towels. You have a magnifying shaving mirror right here that swivels, although I do uh, bring a small hand mirror for looking at the back of my hair if you need one of those because that doesn't come out far enough to, um, to, to really do the job to see the back of your hair. So really you need a little handheld mirror to do that job. Okay, so place to hang your towels there. And over here we have the wardrobes, the closets. So there are three life jackets. Always check and make sure you have the amount for the people in your cabin. Hubby has his clothes hung up there and a pair of shoes down at the bottom. I've got my hang up clothes here. We did carry on only for 20 days. Cruise is 16, but we're away for 20. Three closets. Hubby has some things up here on the shelf. And our laundry bag at the bottom here. Now, here's our big vanity mirror outside. So this one has a light going all the way around it. So if you want to do your hair, your makeup, or whatever, you have your hair dryer right here. Don't mind all the medicine. It is legal, yes. And uh, so it's not a great vanity mirror. Uh, we do have a light bulb out, but I'm not doing... Oh, there's a light bulb out on the other side, too. Maybe it is only three lights on each side. Who knows? But there is a big light overhead, too, so... Anyway, so if you want to do your makeup and your hair so that you're not taking up bathroom time and somebody else wants to get in the bathroom, you can do that. So nice big spot here to put all your stuff on. So don't mind us. We have cords and stuff laid all over the place here now. Uh, you've got the three drawers down here. Now you get two deep ones. And really, I mean, don't mind the underwear. I mean, t-shirts, sh you know, shorts, whatever you might have there. Um, and then you've got this drawer right here. And this is where our laundry bags are also for uh, putting the laundry out. We also have a refrigerator. Now, sometimes you get a cooler and if you need an actual refrigerator because you have medication that needs to be at a certain temperature, they will bring a refrigerator in. So we've got water in there and snacks for onshore excursions. Another little mirror right here. And then you have your safe coming up here so you can punch in a code and your safe is there. Uh, you put your own code in. 
a small screen TV, uh, flat screen TV. We put our binoculars up there. We really don't watch TV. Another mirror for an area that, you know, like I say, if there's a, you know, our granddaughter was with us back in January. She was putting on some makeup. She sat at the vanity area, a little vanity stool there. Um, and there's your garbage can right there. Now, if you look over here, there is a sofa bed. And that does make up into a bed every night. And your room steward will do that for you every night. They are amazing. Bit of a coffee table there. It does move, so you can move it around. A little bit of a storage shelf there for a person that might be sleeping uh, on the sofa bed. Now, we bring magnetic hooks with us put them on the walls for our hats, jackets, whatever. And uh, today our room steward, Paul, made us a little doggy. I think it's so cute. And I got uh, my bathrobe there as well. And uh, some artwork up there, the curtains. You can see my bathing suit drawing there. And like I say, this other mirror is awesome. It is great. I mean, mirrors everywhere. It is a very spacious cabin. Newer ships, the cabins are a little smaller, unfortunately. Now, down underneath here, we have more storage. I put snacks down here. We put some equipment down there. We've got uh, my snorkel vest and my snorkel and my mask underneath there. Like I say, we have some snacks going on down there. And then if we walk over here, I'll show you the balcony in a, sec in a second. Oh, we both have bedside tables too. So my bedside table, I put a couple pair of shoes in great for that and then we have the lamps here which are great and um, for reading at night you also have that light switch right there in the middle between the pillows which shuts off all the main lights in the room so you don't have to get up to shut the light off and then stumble your way to bed so hubby has his bedside table there and lamp now they don't have a USB port here let's have a look over here so we brought our own unit you can see this thing that we hubby bought this so don't ask me where probably Amazon I would imagine and uh, we just plug in there so it does have 110 and 220 though because it does of course do European cruising on this size of ship this class so let's look at the balcony okay I'm not gonna say anything now I'm gonna let you just enjoy this we're gonna move the curtain here hubby's out here reading we're just gonna be nice and quiet and enjoy the balcony